partner Pablo Tejas will start us off with first serve. Line on the third. Yeah, very uh, quality last rounds for these two teams. You mentioned Pablo Tejas and Federico Statru. Or sorry, excuse me. You mentioned Connor Garnett <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Tyler Loon with a big win against Julian Arnold and Jack Sock previously. And Tejas and uh, Stackstrude had a great win against Colin Schick and Eric Roddy in a very convincing fashion. The question, Tyler Loom has been locked in so far this tournament. Yeah, his his inside out forehand up the middle is just a thing of beauty. One, zero, two. Uh, right on cue, back up the middle again. And yeah, I, I, I like the lefty, lefty versus lefty matchup. Often you just get one of the four players as a lefty, so two, it makes it two. a bit unique when you have two on court. So where do the targets change on both sides when you have two lefties in the mix? Well, really, it's the, in the player in front of you. You have to change your spot on your attacks, especially. Oh, had a good look at the around the post. Yeah, and dinking, things like that, not a huge difference but where you attack. You're always looking for that dominant shoulder or that dominant hip, and it's completely flipped for a lefty. Second, third. Yeah, that, yeah, I mean, three times now, the inside-out forehand from Tyler Loon paying dividends, and of course, the big cross-court put away. We know he has that power to finish the point. I like this partnership of Loon and Garnett. Yeah, it's I mean, lots of <laughs> lots of court coverage, lots of athleticism, and some pretty good shot making as well. Balance each other nicely. Yeah, Federico is going to need some help from the lefty Tejas in the middle, as uh, Tyler Loom just coming out of the gates very strong. That's a nice first volley from Federico Stackrude forcing Loon to hit Four, that two, drive two. on his back foot. Oh. I can't blame him too much. Uh, he's had such success with that shot early on, that one catching the net, though. Zero, four, one. Nice partner communication. Connor Garnett locked and loaded with that big two-handed backhand, but Tyler Loom calls him off, and that ball does sail long. There's Pablo Tejas, the lefty, coming to life. Yeah, and the, the Ernie King, Tyler Lung, a uh, little taste of his own medicine there from <laughs> Federico Stacks Root. One, four, two. Point. Nice step over from Federico. I'm not going to lie, Michelle, I'm feeling a bit of pressure. Dave was just in the analyst <laughs> chair. And I, I, I feel like I should go for the zingers and the one-liners, you know? I'm not sh quite sure what to do here. You just be yourself, Adam. <laughs> Shining star that you are. Did after all get the broadcaster of the year in the Dink Awards this year? Congratulations! Oh, I appreciate TV that. TV personality. I think my right mom. I think my mom made Three, about a hundred email addresses <laughs> to vote for me as much as possible. <laughs> you got my vote. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. 
<laughs> nice drive from Pablo <laughs> Tellez, uh, catching Garnett, kind of looking to squeeze the middle. He put it back behind him nicely. Did I say something about the only thing? I think you egged him out a bit with that uh -huh. calling card. And I'm just very thrilled to work Mama Stone into the broadcast. Yes. And thank you for that setup. Please don't let people walk in during a rally, please. Don, four, four, Don. <laughs> he's not taking anything. The enforcer. Dipping backhand shot from Connor Garnett. Yeah, great spin, and he took just a bit off. Went at about 75%. If he hits that full force, it's going to sail long. Inside out to the corner, not easy. Pablo Tea is reaching in and speeding up things on his terms. Yeah, nice shot. And Connor Garnett, I think overextending on that last ball, especially Five, because four, he's got that lefty partner over there to help him out. Okay. Yeah. Court, not out. in favor of Loon that time, side out. Yeah, just Couple lefties running around their backhands <laughs> to hit forehands, and I have no doubt we're going to see more of the same moving forward. Four, five, one. Point. And it's, I mean, I, I played Tyler Loon a lot uh, it, earlier in my career, and there, five, there's just five, something one. about a lefty that just gets you all jammed up. That was good athleticism on the dodge <laughs> there. <laughs> that was, yeah, that, that ball was well wide, but an awkward court positioning for Tyler Loom. A tennis player out of BYU, Tyler Loom. Five by two. At the headband. That's a great eye, oh. Michelle. I didn't even notice that. I'm not sure if I've seen him go with that. We we, we love our fashion and our and our whatnots around here, so you you gotta mention the stuff. Full visibility. Great hands from Connor Garnett. Pablo Tea is so deceptive, so anytime you get a quality counterattack, uh, you have to feel good about yourself. Garnett's defense is so good in that match against Sock and Arnold too. Cleaning up on the backhand side to match was Connor Garnett to tie it. Yeah, what a point. And I was in full fan mode for that previous match, waiting for my chance in the booth. They, the, the four fellas really put on a show. A lot of fun to watch. Inside in winner for the lefty, Tyler Loon. Yeah, Federico coming in, looking for that ball to go to the middle, and Tyler Loon found the perfect spot corner pocket. Second, One out of two. Like the most so far of this Garnett Loon partnership. Second, six, the way two. they played together after the serve. Yeah. Ooh, Got it. I, I, I just think they're both extremely well rounded. So there's not a lot of weaknesses or things to pick on. Uh, quality offense, Eight, six, good two. athleticism, and consistency as well. Lefty wrist of Pablo Tejas really creates a lot from almost no backswing. A lot of strength in that lower arm six, makes six, it one. tough to read where he's going. Oh, Ooh. 
the ATP might have been short. Yeah, it was, I think it was definitely going to be wide. I wasn't sure if it bounced. And obviously, Tyler Wing hit it out of the air. Tough break. It, it, it's hard with that court positioning to know exactly where you are. Happening right now. The first route, yes. I formation. The first lob was a bit Red fortunate. Seven. Yes. <laughs> Run to the other side. <laughs> he was just protecting his face on the first one, and the, and the second ball was timed perfectly, like you said, with the offensive lob. You got to protect the money, man. Show him on. It's a wedding crashers reference, case you missed it. Great movie. And I, I have another reference from that movie, but I have to work it in at the perfect time, so <laughs> stay tuned. Closing stretch. Nine, eight, one. Denied on the first ATP attempt and the second one perfectly placed. Yeah, and we're going to have a stoppage of play here with the game point on the one. This could be a really good partnership here in men's doubles. The official ball of the PPA Tour. should be on their side in just a moment. Yeah, I know uh, Federico and Pablo really like to play the patient game and the well-timed aggression, but I would expect them to step up the aggression because their counterparts are starting the fire so well right now. Kind of a, a beat them to the punch situation. working for Tyler at Loom a lot in game one, as I mentioned, but that's what I'm talking about. He is he is looking for that early. So I think Tejas and Staxford are going to match them and look for early offense in the point as well.
pressure once again. One of the more extended points of the match, and the fellas, they're, they're really playing clean right now. Lots of points earned, not a lot of unforced errors. I really like what I'm seeing. Pretty. Very pretty. Nice patience. Didn't shuffle his feet, just took a small jump across the corner of the kitchen and put it in the perfect spot in a very good start for the number two seat. Yes, and Tyler Loom. That one-handed backhand roll. Nice addition to his game. Didn't always have that shot, but another way that Loom is creating offense. One, one way is to beat them to the punch on offense, like I mentioned, and another way is just to hit better, more effective dinks to not allow Loom and Garnett to, to find those openings. advantage of the two forehands in the middle. Pretty quality attack from Pablo Tejas. Comes back at him very quickly. Oh. <laughs> and, and a little th theatrics <laughs> afterwards, but a very graceful move to avoid the net post, because if he hits that with his body, the, the, the point is over and the, the shot is void. Some dance moves. A little two step. Ooh, the midpoint switch. We've seen the, the Johns brothers do that a couple times, and that was a nice little setup with the Texas two step for Austin next <laughs> weekend. I, I, see what you, I see what you did there, Michelle. <laughs> He passed for that one. <laughs> and a nice forward movement from Pablo Tejas. A tear drop, drop, and then he comes in hot and looks for offense on the backhand side, and he found it. That's a nice reach in from Tyler Loom. Went up on one leg to get maximum extension into the kitchen, and he's rewarded with a forced error against Federico Staxrud. soft hands at the kitchen to set up the close for Garnett. Yeah, that's right, and one of the tough breaks about running around your backhand, you do leave a sliver of court open in the middle, and Connor Garnett found it. <laughs> that is the help that Fed needed. Loong. Finding the middle early, this time the lefty, Pablo Tea is shutting it down. Yeah, and it's so true, Michelle. Every, every righty wants a lefty. There's just, there's just <laughs> only so many to choose from at this point. So I, I just really 
enjoy seeing those two forehands in the middle for the teams that have one of each. Wow. Gosh. <laughs> I mean, talk about just rotation and power through the strike zone. Connor Garnett, what a shot. about to say I wouldn't drop shot any of these four players <laughs> but the, the second one of the point worked out for Pablo and I think his hint of deception on that shot allowed him Connor Garnett into the men's singles Sunday final Very mobile player. And Pablo Tejas takes care of the law that time from Connor Garnett and of course, the. Coming six, three, two. Pablo Tejas fan in the house. Oh, just a moment ago. Yeah. Point. Nationals last year, we had a couple fans with Pablo Tejas uh, self-made shirts. So I mean, this is this is getting real now, Michelle. Seven, three, two. Shut up. Uh, Federico Stackrude looking for the third shot drive. Missing that one, but it's a great shot for him. He'll continue to go for it. Just from that position, back at the baseline, to get that much spin and force Tejas to hit up on that first volley is so good from Connor Garnett. I know that one kissed the tape, but I really like that pull of the trigger from Pablo Tejas and his buddy Federico finishes the deal on the next shot. When you hit it that hard and it clips the tape, it's almost never going in. Tough break for Tyler Loon. is right who's playing what side Tyler Loon and Connor Garnett charging to either side of the court and Garnett looking for the lob but the athleticism of Federico stacks through too much and trying to get the crowd into it hey, four, what a fun point See Connor Garnett take that second hand off of the paddle too frequently on the right. backhand side for offense. He tried it that time, but unsuccessful. That's a great eye. Both players with the forehand in the middle pulling the paddle back. It was obviously good hands, but I think a bit fortunate to put that past Pablo Tejas. And once again, I like the speed up from Tejas, just having a little bad luck on some of those initial counters from his opponents. Earning pressure from Sven. Yeah, and I think that forced Loom into the lob. So, uh, he sees Federico move and then kind of changes his mind and looks for a different Four shot. Nine, and in the moment, that's very tough to do. It's so fun when it's coming at you, is it? <laughs> 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 I don't know how that is. 
<laughs> and, and of course, some players better than others, but almost every competitor out there has that in their yep. arsenal now. Didn't used to be that way. The athleticism is really stepping up. position and the spin he creates and the deception I mean that had a little bit of everything and even Federico Statru can't get there yeah. oh, flying in on the forehand too Connor Garnett pulls his team within two he's he's in the air a little run here on a two for Garnett and Lou of Loom and Garnett had had them a, a couple points recently. And when Federico went for that Ernie early in the point, it act, the ball actually went between his legs <laughs> and he recovered. Unreal. Oh, that was crazy. There's that loose wrist from Pablo Tellez on the second ball down at the right foot of Tyler Loom. And they needed it and they are rewarded with a game point. still gets there. Unfortunately, they clink paddles in the middle on that last shot. Man, the, the boys are moving. We've, we've had some real chaos indoors. I'm here for all of it. It's kind of been a mix. We have extended, consistent rallies from the kitchen and then a couple rat-a-tat real quick points <laughs> mixed in. It's a very nice mix for the fans here. Game point saved, two game points saved. the firefight, crucial hold, one to go. Yeah, big hands from Federico. And the Ernie's and the fake Ernie's are really playing a big role in where some of these shots strategically are going at the kitchen line. Mm, no points, still in a three-point hole on the side of Loom and Garnett. Two more tries for Tejas and Staxrude to close out game two. And some real nice positive emotion from Pablo Tejas after getting the ball back. So good at that put away power, Tyler Loom. Look at that. Whip. <laughs> Not once, but twice to hold off four game points. Two in a row, and some great work at the kitchen line to get that last opportunity from Tyler Loom. He's playing very well. Yeah, 
Byrne on the backhand side on the reset ball. Two drives in a row prior to that. Yeah, he often does that third shot drive and fifth shot drive. Definitely a part of his game. Saves the day and holds strong in the firefight. Yeah, it was a great exchange. Four or five shots from each player. Unfortunately, it clips the tape and catches Tejas in the chest, but the hand speed is electric out here right now. Yeah, that's a good eye. Drive sailing long. Tyler Lynn couldn't quite get over to his right with his footwork. And ball back over with a couple more tries at ceiling game two. Oh, inside out two. And great one hander to start it. So the one handed backhand and then the two handed backhand. What a combination for Connor. here with the timeout. I thought Federico was thinking in, about it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it though. I think we're going to continue play. And it's it starts starts getting in your head when you spend uh, their patience is is on point as well. So whatever they get, that will dictate what's going to happen. Big play from Federico Strachsrud, textbook backhand roll down the line. Yes, definitely textbook is that Connor Garnett two-handed roll dink sailing just long enough for Federico to take it out of the air. I just love the reads. When a player is loading up to hit a counterattack as the other player is hitting the ball, the anticipation on point for Connor Garnett. Yeah, and there's that beautiful righty lefty mix. It allows Tejas to go for what he needs to, and he knows Federico's forehand is going to be in the middle to cover him. Seven game points now for Tejas and Staxford struck on 10. Wow, how much real estate do you give Tyler Lewing on that four? I would imagine he takes majority of those. Yeah, I, th I think so. Game point number eight. Oh no, that's tough. Yeah, and if the ball is a little bit lower, then I think it's it's a communication to best her life. best life. I'm not exactly sure, but wake uh, up, kid. <laughs> hey, big match. <laughs> Anytime's a good time for it. That's a fair point. Kind of jealous. One zero two. What an angle from Tyler Lone. Loves to whip through that ball cross court when his balance is neutral or forward. And when he gets pushed back, he can find that inside out angle as well as anyone. No, he missed it wide, but I like it. So he had the two handed drive on the third shot. 
the slice drop, and he came forward aggressively. Don't hate the play, even though it didn't work out. cover from Federico Staxrud, but an awkward paddle position for Pablo Tellez on the next shot. Yeah, no worries there. And I like that play a couple points ago from Tyler Lung, and I like the forehand drive whenever he gets an opportunity to hit it. Great defense from Federico to get his team back to the kitchen line. Unfortunately, his partner catches the tape with that backhand roll attempt. And a couple loose return errors from both teams early in game three. It's a big moment, so a little tightness and nerves to start. They'll get it situated. Two-handed roll dink from Tyler Wong. Often prefers that one-handed slice, but that one was hit with authority. Two, two, one. Oh. Oh. And on that nice deep return from Tejas, Lim still finding a way to come up with three, a good two, third. One. Played such a clean match. I hope these errors don't creep in too much. They have a bit to start game three, as I mentioned. Up to the drive it. It worked in a 4-2 lead for Garnett and Moon in game three. from Pablo Tellez. And, and really, I would say Connor Garnett's the least tenured player on court, but everyone has a lot of experience. But big moments in men doubles, yeah. Tellez and Stackstrude have had more of those big moments yes. lately. That's a great point by you. Big serve from Tellez to set up that point. Yeah, that, that was 90% serve, 10% the next shot. When you hit it that deep initially, and someone as athletic as Tyler Loon can't Three, make it to the one. kitchen, very good stuff. Oh my, <laughs> that ball was in. How did he get this back? What a play from Federico Straxrud. Well, the first two or three in this match, he did not get back. So the anticipation from Federico, knowing that Loom is gonna hit that cross court is very nice. Yeah, these, these first volleys from both teams have got to be cleaned up right now. I mean, I think that's four, if not five, and, you know, we're not even to the midway point of game three yet. And that's a testament to the serve and the drives, but still have to put it in play. Such good pressure right now from Tejas and Staxrud. They are all over the offensive attack with the two-point lead to match. In fourth, so exciting, both sides, Tejas and Staxrud taking control in game three on a one. Inside out from Tyler Loon holds off 
one server. And between the legs, yeah. and, when, and when you hit a circus shot, you often end up losing the point, but not this time. Well done, Tyler Loom. Yeah, gotta, gotta make that third shot. Not, of course, in general, you need to, but especially with some of the non-crispness of the first volleys we've seen. Put that in play, force them to hit a ball. You might get a freebie. Great start out of the end chain for Loon and Barnett. See if they can keep it going. Five, six, one. Oh. What a play and a save by Loon. Connor Garnett polishing off the point to tie it at six. Yeah, and it was it was only two points, but I like the stoppage of play from Tejas. He he went right to the timeout after that. Uh, just I mean, full momentum on the side of Stackshrew and Tejas before the end change, and it just switches like that. Such a good play, and saved by Garnett too on the forehand side there. Yeah, I mean that's really, I mean that's the perfect spot going at Garnett's right hip, and he still digs out of it. They're both so active and athletic. Yeah, you know, sometimes you can move too much as a pickleball player, and Garnett's he's pretty bouncy out there, but he stays under control yes. while doing it, and I can't tell you how tough that is. See if this run will continue on a one. Tyler Liu serving the Tayans. I don't know. I mean, he, he took a full swing, but he could have kind of let it go by pulling his paddle back. So sometimes you let it go, and sometimes you just miss it. into the two and a one point lead back on their side. And the most emotion I've seen from Connor Garnett this match had the, the angry face in a good way though. Sped it up. Tejas read it. Yeah, it was close. Uh, I wasn't quite sure at first who hit that ball because Federico Stackford was there as well, but I do think it caught the paddle of Pablo Tejas and then it caught the body of Tyler Loon. from Federico Stackroot. He was moving before the first volley was struck. He knew Pablo was going to come up with a big drive, and he did exactly that. One more serve and a chance to regain the lead for Tejas and Stacks Root. Yeah, I think he had the angle there, didn't have enough Seven, patience six, to wait for that ball to extend around the post. A little net assisted, but either way, I like the offense from Tejas. And a couple sloppy points early in game three. It has become much cleaner in this big moment. Oh, 
think Federico was struggling to decide whether to hit it with two hands or one hand, and he clearly made the wrong decision. Seven, eight, one. And Tyler Loon pockets the middle to tie it at eight. Yeah, really nice job because Tellez often pushes that ball fully out wide to Loon's backhand. This time he was hanging out in the middle looking for a forehand and he found one. Effortless touch from Staxrud. Yeah, and I, I said he, he a little indecisive a couple points ago on one hand or two hand. Long decision that time, correct decision this time for Fed. Stacksrud all over the line attack from Loon. Yeah, great counter from Federico. And the fellow is all for it, really moving the ball around the kitchen. Lots of dinks. Maybe the right side lefties getting a few more touches, but it's moving around everywhere. And uh, I really like to see that kind of the Kawamoto style of just put it in a variety of spots and not let your opponent figure out your patterns. And uh, just sat up there for a cookie, but when it clips the tape, it just throws off your timing, even for these world class players. Nice put away from Tyler Loon. Ball back over to his team, and it is just. An obvious statement, but crunch time. Who is going to step up in this big moment? Tyler Loon will answer that question first. Tie game, 9 all. Yes, he did. And that was not a terribly high dink. And it certainly wasn't unattackable, but he found some offense from a questionable spot. Nice job, Tyler. Oh, wide for Tejas. And looky here, match point. Yeah, he decided to change the pattern. Several dinks cross court. Went up the line and just missed. Should be, and what? There couldn't be a better way to end that match than with the two handed backhand of Connor Garnett. A thrilling quarterfinal matchup we just saw here on Humana Championship Court at the Pickleball Central Indoor USA Championships. Down went the two seed. Connor Garnett and Tyler Loong are moving on to the semifinals, and they are with us now. Myself and Adam Stone to talk about it. Gentlemen, first of all, congrats on the huge win. Connor, you first. Momentum was swinging back and forth all the way through game three. What would you identify as the turning point in your favor there in game three? Yeah, I mean, I think we just played big on the big points. Uh, they get hot at times, so we just had to weather the storm. And uh, Tyler came up big, and uh, we were just having some fun out there. And it was awesome, uh, awesome chemistry and just having a ton of fun. Tyler, well played. And I've noticed, especially in this match here, that you've really stepped up your offense from the kitchen line. Has that been a point of emphasis for you or just a product of the circumstances of the match? 
Adam, have you not been following along on social media? I've been, <laughs> I've been working out. I've been drilling. Uh, it is something that, that I've been working on, uh, just being a lot more aggressive. I have long arms, and so I want to be utilizing that uh, the best I can. Adam doesn't use social media. Anyways, <laughs> no, just kidding. No easy matches for you guys, but the, the road to gold is a little bit clearer now without Ben and Colin in the mix. They're a reasonable way through the draw here to finish. You've got one more match to go, and you're through to Championship Sunday. What must continue to go well in your partnership to achieve that, Connor? Yeah, I mean, I think we just got to keep communicating out there. Tyler's coming up big, reaching in the middle. I got to keep using the 2E. So just having some fun, keeping fighting, and uh, I think we'll like how things turn out. Tyler, it only took you seven years to start drilling. <laughs> I'm very proud of you, and it is clearly paying dividends. Well played out there. Looking forward to seeing you back on this court later in the day. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, congratulations.